China is the largest car industry in the world, with 26.9 million units sold in 2022. It solidified its position as world's top car exporter in 2024 as it banks on manufacturing heft. In China, the era of Western car makers is over. Foreign brands lose share to Chinese rivals, driven by local manufacturers' lead in electric vehicles. Chinese car companies are doing really well in Russia by sending cars on trains. They're also selling a lot of cars in places like Southeast Asia, Australia, South America, and Mexico. Because of some trade rules from when Trump was the president, they couldn't sell as many cars in the United States. Now they're getting ready to sell a bunch of cars in Europe. For years, the Made in China label was perceived to imply compromised quality and affordability over luxury. A lot of people still think that things made in China, especially cars, might not be as good. In a survey, 42% of people said China is the last place they'd want their next car to come from. That's much more than the second-to-last choice, South Korea, which had 17%. Chinese car companies are stepping in to help in Russia since other global car makers left. They are doing this without getting the negative reactions that some Western companies faced when they tried to stay. Car companies like Geely, Cherry, and Great Wall Motor took a big chunk, 17%, of Russia's car market in 2022. This happened after many of the world's largest car companies, like VW and Toyota, left because of Russia's actions in Ukraine a year ago. While Western companies from Apple to Sony, BP, and McDonald's withdrew from Russia in the early days of the war following swift economic sanctions and consumer pressure, many Chinese firms have continued to operate there with impunity. The leader of China, President Xi Jinping, is supporting the leader of Russia, President Vladimir Putin. Because of this, companies from China don't have to worry much about people at home getting mad at them. Unlike some companies that left Russia, like Renault and fast retailing from Japan, Chinese companies didn't face big problems. Renault got criticized by the president of Ukraine and had to close its operations in Russia, losing a lot of money. Even fast retailing faced calls for people to stop buying from them because they were slow to leave. But the Chinese companies didn't have these kinds of troubles. China was about to become the biggest car seller in the world in 2023. In the first 11 months, they sent out 4.4 million cars, which is 58% more than the year before. This info comes from the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers. In the same period, Japanese car makers, the world's top exporters in 2022, sold 3.99 million units abroad, according to data from the Japan Automobile Industry Association. Chinese car companies are likely to sell 5 million cars in other countries in 2024. A lot of people in places like Southeast Asia want to buy them. This means China will be the top country selling the most cars around the world, as predicted by UBS. It would be the first time that China, the world's largest automotive and EV market, becomes the no one exporter. From January to November, most of the cars bought in China were made by Chinese companies like BYD, Li Auto, and GAC. They made up 84% of all the cars sold there. The other 16% came from foreign companies, including Tesla. In the last part of 2023, BYD, which was already the biggest maker of electric cars in the world, this includes cars like plug-in hybrids, sold more electric cars than Tesla did. Chinese car companies are getting more popular everywhere. It's because the stuff they use to make cars, like steel and electronics, is not too expensive in China. Also, the Chinese government helps these companies a lot by giving them free land, loans with almost no interest, and other bonuses. In Australia, cars made by Chinese companies are selling more than those from South Korea, and they are getting close to the ones from Japan. China is also sending a lot of cars to Mexico and Britain. They are starting to send more to Belgium and Spain, which are like big doorways to other countries in Europe. 